In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to integrate the Photo Editor SDK for HTML5 into your website. We're going to use Visual Studio Code and the Photo Editor SDK's documentation. So let's get to it. We open docs.photoeditorsdk.com in our browser, click on HTML5 and scroll down to the What You Need section. First of all, we have to download the latest version of the SDK from GitHub. Here, we already prepared a folder for our project. We unzip the file and copy the Assets, CSS and JS folder. Those contain all the elements our editor needs to run properly. We paste the folders into our project folder. For this demo, we want to open a sample image with the editor, so we copy that into our folder as well. Here, we already opened our projects folder with Visual Studio Code. Next, we're going to create an HTML file that we're going to use to build our site. We copy this code for the head section and paste it into our index.html file. Here is where we link to the JavaScript files from our JS folder. Please note that if you store the folder somewhere else, you have to adjust these paths accordingly. Also, this is where the CSS file for our desktop UI is loaded. Next, we're going to add a body to our site. Then, we'll need a div where our editor is going to be displayed. For that, we can simply copy the snippet from the documentation. The div's ID is set to editor, so we can address it via JavaScript. Now, we copy this JavaScript snippet from the documentation so that the editor loads properly. We have already prepared our license file here. It is important to copy the entire content of the license file and paste it after license. Also, it is important to insert the license as a string and not as a JavaScript object. Please make sure that under base URL you have entered the correct path to your assets folder. Under image.source, we load our image. Please note that if you don't load the image locally but from another source, say a server like an AWS S3 bucket, you have to set up course properly. We dedicated a whole section in our documentation to this issue, so make sure to check that out. However, as we're going to load the image locally, we don't have to mind that line. Finally, it is important that we create the editor after the image is loaded, so that we can pass the image to the editor. Alright, we're set. Now we can test everything by running a server. We'll go with the simple HTTP server. As we can see, everything runs properly. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.